Now welcome to my first video. Well, it's going to be the first of a series of videos teaching you how to use the easiest way to beat the hardest computer in racket sports games. So we're starting with Rockstar Table Tennis. Now, so first into the players, right? You need players with a good top spin forehand or backhand. And only four people have a good chance of beating expert using this method, right? So Jesper, who has the highest power and strongest power, uh, forehand in the game. So I recommend him if you want an easy time. Now next, Haley. Now she looks weak, right, in terms of power, but you may be surprised to know that she has the second best forehand, basically. And she has higher accuracy than Jesper too. Now so Layman is like the reverse Jesper. So he has a very strong backhand and a better serve. So you don't always dump the serve into the net, right? So I prefer him. Now Carmen, who's a bit weaker in terms of power, but still has a good backhand. She also has the highest accuracy, right? So she's the least affected by spin. So if you're struggling against spin players, you can choose her. Now, you may be wondering, what about Liu Ping or Mark? Now, they have good power on paper, but I think it's all about whether the individual backhand or forehand is good in the game, rather than the stats. And their shots are kind of slow, right, in the matches, okay, despite what their stats suggest. So, let's start with Jesper, so I can show you how easy using him is. Now, to start with, right, the serve. You need to serve in such a way that gets them to return it to your strength. Right, so for a strong forehand, you move to your right and serve diagonally to your left. Now I use a backspin short serve because it's the hardest to attack. Now they will almost always return the shot to your forehand all the time. Then you can hit your forehand at an extreme angle by pulling left down for the kill shot. Now even if they return it with Yes's power, you're going to force a weak reply so you can smash it down, um, into the same corner. Right, I'm going to show you. Now, positioning is very important too, right? Against the expert computer, you're going to be trading a lot of sharp angle diagonal shots. So you need to know how to defend the angles. So what you do after you hit a diagonal shot is you actually don't move back to the middle. It's a rookie mistake, you're right, right? You want to cover the down the line shot, but you don't do that. Okay, instead, after you hit a diagonal shot, you stay where you are, right? Or you can move to cover the, the diagonal return, like I'll demonstrate. Okay, well, let's just play. Watch my shots, okay? Watch my movements, okay? I, I always exploit the small angles, the sharp angles, and then I always cover my angles, right? Okay, I don't go back to the middle, okay? I stay where I am, or if you even move a bit to the right, right, to cover the sharp angle shots, okay? So watch how I play. So I'm going to move to Haley and use the same basics and play 11 points. Again, some principles, right? Serve diagonally from your right side, okay? Um, diagonal forehand using left down, and always cover the acute angle, right? Not move back to the middle, okay? Moving back to the middle is a mistake. Okay, now I'm going to be playing Mark because a lot of people think Mark is difficult, but I'll show you he's actually pretty easy. Remember all the basics, so move to the right, 
Okay, serve diagonally, short backspin. He's going to that side, it doesn't matter, right? I'm going to get the forehand eventually. Smash to the same side. Okay, I'll repeat this. Okay, I'm out of position a bit. Okay, still got it. Another smash to finish off. Now you notice my focus meter, right? I never use focus shots like voluntarily, right? I'll explain why in later videos. Now, you can see sometimes when I return serves, when I don't know when to ret where to return, I just return down the middle, okay? I think it's a good strategy, right? It also narrows down the angles people can use against you. So, if in doubt, just return down the middle. And then maybe starting from the second shot, you can think about angles, but not the first shot, right? You never know where the computer's going with, with, with the serve. Now, so yeah, this is the classic play, right? You'll be using this so many times, right? Okay, yeah. I was reaching too far. Okay, again, down the middle, and then an angle on the second shot, okay? We're in no hurry. Yeah, another classic play. And I'll finish him off. Oh, I got it. Yeah, way to go. Again, returning down the middle. Working on the angles on the second shot instead of the first. Yep, same deal. Now you can see how easy it can be. Okay, so hope you like my video. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.